For Steve King, after it finishes Darford 2, Slough Town 0. Steve, firstly, give us your thoughts on the game. Tough game. Um, they always give it a tough game, no matter who they got playing. Um, I know they had a few missing, and we had a few missing, but um, always a tough affair. Um, bit of a scrappy game, I felt. It wasn't at our best. Missed a couple of chances in the first half. Always felt we were in front of the team, we were sort of dominating a lot of the game. Um, second half, come out, we had a very stern talk and at half time, we've got to take chances and then within 30 seconds we've took a great chance. Jack Barham's done ever so well on the wing to cut that back for Chris Dixon. Um, that scored and then a great ball in from Jebby and Dixon Dicko scored again. So 2-0. Um, we get one sent off the last 15 minutes. Never a red card. Jacob's in the control of the ball and the guys come through through him and the ball. It's not a foul by him either. But it's not a foul by anybody. Um, for a red card for that, it's just spoiled the game. So what's happened then? They're just throwing caution to the win. 11 against 10. We've gone back into a 4-4-1. Four, four, um, and they're just, you know, a wave of attack and attack with that. But us defending brilliantly without them really hurting us. Yeah, you mentioned just a moment ago that you, you had kind of words at half-time. Was you impressed how quickly, because it was two quick goals, how quickly we, we kind of turned the game on its head? Yeah, because we said we needed to get our home form back on, on track because we lost two at home in, in you know, five, so it's, it wasn't good. But another clean sheet, which is important, they built on that. And we scored two you know, goal scorers finishes, really, I think. Um, but for me... We still wasn't at the levels that we know we can get at. That, that's the big thing. But credit to Slough had a right go in the last 15 minutes when we went to 10 and put us under pressure and we had to defend properly. Yeah, the first goal come from wonderful work down the right hand side by Jack Barrow. And that's what Jack gives us, isn't it? Is that even though he's not amongst the goals at the moment, is that that work rate and skill to yeah, beat his man as well? Work rate, good effort. And the second goal, again, wonderful delivery like we see all the time from, from Jack Jeb. Jeb, he always gives you a chance, as I always say to the boys, always gives you a chance to score a goal um, with his deliveries. Um, some of them were f fantastic today and we never got on the end of them, so it made the delivery look like, you know, not the greatest delivery, but the deliveries are normally 8, 9 out of 10. Um, like I say, a fantastic ball for the Pumpers, the Dicko to pull off and for the other. Yeah, both Pumps were finishes for both of the goals really you were speaking to me in the week and you were saying that chances and balls were getting put in the right area were you happy today that those balls were getting put in the right, right area and put in away I think our end ball wasn't yeah. the best yeah. if I'm honest and and we've worked on that all week all week like Thursday it was an hour on that um, Craig Adam working on that I just felt that it, it, it it was two good finishes and what I'd say centre forward finishes um, and for me Dicko's came in and knows people because he's played against people but had one session with us on Thursday and he's took sort of two of the three or four chances that he's had Yeah you just mentioned Chris Dixon there of course we've, we've signed him two goals on his, on his debut today well, just just give the the Dartford fans a little bit of a reasoning behind, behind, the, behind the signing well I felt we were creating chances but not scoring them and the forwards have not been scoring and out of 13 goals that we had scored 10 have come from 10 different players which is fantastic but you want your forward scoring and I've sort of had you know so I've had a good chat I don't know who to pick at the moment I don't know who to pick because you all bring something different but no one's actually going I'm here I'm scoring so it was a bold decision I feel um, Dicko's very experienced scoring a lot of goals in, in, for Horn Church top scorer in the division a lot of goals last year 25 the year before 20 the year before so he knows his way around and he's you know he's age is a number and he still moves like a young man um, but, you know, Mark Stimpson over at Hong Church has let me have him on a dual registration um, Why they're not playing. So their season doesn't resume until the 19th of December. 
so we go to there for, for a period of time I mean clean sheet two goals back to winning ways I think it was yeah um, that's all you can do it's only ever three points for a game and like I said what we've been managed to do throughout since I've been here is lose and then bounce back and and let's be honest the two that we have lost we haven't deserved to lose those games but they are what they are it happen like that every week so there's going to be winners losers you know, it's the way it's going to be it's up and down it's up and down until it sort of starts to settle itself down after maybe 20, 20 odd games and really the top sides uh, come the end of the season are going to be the ones that stay most, most consistent well anyone that wins the league is the most yeah. consistent yeah. side isn't it so yeah. So yeah, listen, we're not we're a million miles away from that. Yeah. Um, we're doing all right, but we can do better. Perfect. Thank you, Steve. Yeah.